join kids hat family hi i have lost my phone and cannot reach my parents can you please help me make a call home yes sure i can take you to the theater manager he will have a phone thank you Tia, what are you doing? We will miss the start of the movie. We don't even know this boy. You never know how important a glass of milk might be, Tofu. What? What are you talking about, Tia? What glass of milk? You'll know in a minute. Glass of milk. Once upon a time there lived a young boy who was very poor. He did odd jobs to be able to buy his daily food and go to school. One day after school the boy was very hungry. have money today and i have no job lined up till the night how will i make it through the day maybe i should just have some water to fill my stomach so the boy decided to ask one of the houses in the neighborhood for a glass of water he knocked on the first door a young girl opened the door i am very thirsty Can you please give me a glass of water? Yes. Wait a minute. The girl saw the boy's condition and understood how hungry he was. Instead of a glass of water, she brought him a glass of milk. The boy was surprised to see the milk. I cannot take this. I do not have any money to pay you for it. It's okay. You don't have to pay me for it. Oh, thank you very much. The boy drank the glass of milk and felt better immediately. He thanked her and went his way. Many years went by. One day, the girl who was now a woman fell very ill she was taken to the hospital the tests revealed that she had a rare kind of sickness that would need great care for many months dr philip was assigned to her case don't worry we will take care of you thank you as he had promised Dr Philip took great care of her. He visited her daily. Stayed by her bedside at night. And made sure she was always comfortable. After 6 months of intensive treatment in the hospital, the girl was finally well and could go home. But she had a worry. She called the nurse to her room. I am healthy now, but I am worried. It is time for me to pay the hospital bill, but I'm afraid I won't have enough money to do so. Oh, you don't need to worry about it. Your bill has already been paid. What? By whom? Have a look yourself. The girl was astonished. The bill was cancelled across. And in big bold letters it said paid in full years ago with a glass of milk it was signed by dr philips the girl couldn't believe her luck 
Dr. Phillips was the young boy she had helped many, many years ago. Today he had become her saviour and helper. You never know how your one good deed can turn into another good one, Tofu. So never hesitate from helping others. Thanks, dear. I will always remember this now. Tofu, what are you doing? Uh, cleaning. No, you're not. You're just piling up the glasses and making a tower out of them. Uh, okay. I don't understand why we must do all the cleaning. Oh dear, stop being so lazy, Tofu. I am not being lazy. I just think that it is not my job to be cleaning. I don't want to get dirty again. You know, you sound like the lazy girl. The who? Once upon a time, there lived an old couple. They had two daughters, one each from their previous marriages. But the woman behaved terribly with her husband's daughter. One day, she threw her out of the house. Get out of this house! Go find a wealthy man and find some work in his house. Don't come back till you have earned some money. And so the girl took off. As she walked, she came upon an old dried tree. Girl, where are you going? I am going to look for a wealthy house to work in and earn some money. Okay, but before you go, can you please take off the dry twigs from me? The girl agreed and spent a long time carefully cleaning the tree of its dried sticks and twigs. Once she was done, she continued her journey. As she walked on, she came upon a vineyard. An old wine called out to her. Girl, where are you going? Can you help me? I am going to look for a wealthy house to work in and earn some money. But yes, I surely can help you before I go. She carefully cleaned the vineyard and helped the old vine. Once she was done, she continued her journey. As she walked on, she saw a broken mud oven. Young girl, what are you doing here? I am on my way for work and earn some money. Before you go, will you help me? The girl agreed and set to work. She cleaned the area around the oven, got some mud ready and fixed the oven as good as new. 
As she did that, she got mud and dirt all over her, but she didn't mind. Once she was done, she set on her way. As she walked, she came upon an old well. The well called out to her. Hello girl, where are you going? I am going in search for work. Work, is it? Okay, before you go, can you please take out my water and clean me up? The girl happily agreed. She tirelessly emptied the well and cleaned it. Once she was done, she went back on the road. As she walked, a dirty little dog approached her. Help! Can you please help me? I am very dirty. Will you give me a bath, please? Yes, why not? The girl washed the dog and patiently cut its hair. Then she went ahead in search of work. As she walked, she came upon a beautiful house. It belonged to the fairies. She went inside. I need a place to stay for the night. Can I please stay here? I will leave in the morning. Where are you going? I am going in search of work. If you want to work, then you can work here for a year. You can keep our house clean. It has seven rooms. You will have to clean six of them. But you must never enter the seventh one. The girl agreed. For a whole year, she worked in the fairy's home and did exactly as they told. At the end of the year, she wanted to go home. I want to go back to my village to my parents' house. Okay, but first follow me. She took her to a room full of silver and gold coins. You should sleep here on these silver and gold coins. The coins that get stuck on you will belong to you and you can take them with you. The girl did as told. She spent the night sleeping over the coins. Many gold and silver coins got stuck to her body. When morning came, she said her goodbyes and left for her home. As she was walking, the little dog that she had helped came to her. Come on with me. Come, come with me. 
the girl went with it the dog took her to a place with piles of diamonds and pearls take as much as you want the girl took as much as she wanted and left as she walked she reached the well that she had cleaned come girl you must be thirsty have some of my water ah uh, thank you very much i am very thirsty the girl satisfied her thirst and walked on she reached the mud oven that she had fixed she saw many delicious foods there the oven offered her to eat whatever she wanted she ate some and packed some for the rest of her journey she walked on ahead then she reached the vineyard dear girl come have some wine the girl drank some delicious wine and walked on towards her home She now came upon the tree. It was full of delicious fruits. Hello again, dear girl. Here, you can take as much fruit as you want. The girl ate some delicious fruits and packed some to take home with her. Then she got on her way again. soon she reached home the house rooster saw her coming and called out the mistress is home look how much gold and gems she's brought with her this made the mother very angry what nonsense this is nothing now wait and see how much my daughter will earn The mother now sent her own daughter to find work and earn a lot of money. The girl started her journey and soon came upon the tree which was once again dry. Girl, where are you going? I am going to look for a wealthy house to work in and earn some money. Okay, but before you go, can you please take off the dried twigs from me? No. I don't want to spoil my soft pretty hands picking the dry sticks of you. The girl walked on and came upon the vineyard. The old wine called out to her. Go, where are you going? Can you help me? I have to go find work and earn money. I have no time to help you. The girl once again went on her way till she came upon the broken mud oven. Dear girl, can you please help me? I don't want to get dirty in the mud. I can't help you. and again the girl refused to help and moved on she now approached the well i need help can you please clean me i have to go and find work cleaning you will tire me and i don't want to get tired the girl hurried away from the well as she did so 
The little dirty dog approached her. I've become so dirty. Can you please give me a bath and do something about my hair, please? Ah, no. If I touch you, I will become dirty. Look at those dirty flies in your hair. And so the girl ignored the dog's plea and went on her way. After some time, she came upon the fairy's house. She went in. I need a place to stay for the night. Can I stay here? Where are you going? I am going in search of work. If you want, you can work here for a year. There are seven rooms in this house. You will have to clean six of them. And you must never, never enter the seventh room. The girl agreed and started working for the fairies. For a few days, she did as told. But one day, she decided to sneak into the seventh room. The room was dark. But she went in anyway. As soon as she entered it, the door closed behind her. And bugs and insects of a variety attacked and bit her everywhere. She ran out of the room hurt and bleeding. I told you never to enter the seventh room. I will not stay here another moment. I am leaving. The girl took to the road running. Her head dirty, hands, legs and face bleeding and bruised. She came upon the little dog and asked for help. Please help me. You never helped me. Why should I help you now? The dog barked at her and chased her away. She ran till she reached the old well. She was thirsty with all the running. She quickly tried to reach in for a cup of water. But the well took away all its waters. When I asked you for help, you refused. I cannot help you now. Go away. Disappointed, the girl went back on the road. She kept walking on till she saw the mud oven. Delicious and tempting foods lay over. Hungry, the little girl reached out to one of the pies to eat it. But the oven started throwing flames out and the girl couldn't reach the food. You refused to help me when I needed your help. I will not help you now. Go away! The girl continued her journey home. She was very thirsty, hungry and tired. She reached the vineyard hoping she will get some wine. She reached out. But the old vine did not let her touch anything. The girl was forced to leave the vineyard and go on. She now reached the tree. It was full of delicious yummy fruits. She tried to pluck one. Hold it. You didn't want to spoil your hands when I needed your help. You cannot have any of my fruits now. Go away. The girl walked to her home. As she
she approached the house, the rooster saw her. The mistress has come home covered in blood and dirt. What? How is that possible? The woman saw her beloved daughter in her poor state. She turned to her husband. I agree, my daughter didn't earn any money. Your daughter earned everything. But the man was so upset with the woman's terrible behaviour towards his daughter that he threw her and her lazy daughter out of his house. Hmm, I get a feeling that being lazy can be fun for now but bad for later. I wonder what made you change your mind, Tofu? Well, let's just say all this work around here. Tofu, should we go play? Hi. Hmm, actually my friends are waiting for me. Hey guys. Anyone wants to hear a story? Yes. Yes. yes! yes! Okay. Peacock and the Crane Once upon a time, there was a really beautiful peacock. And he knew that he was beautiful. Look at my tail! Has anyone ever had such a beautiful tail? My feathers are so gorgeous! All the animals disliked it when the peacock behaved like that. But he didn't care. One day, he came across a crane. Hello, crane. Hello. Have you seen my feathers and tail? Aren't they beautiful? Yes, it is. I agree. It's the best. Unlike your pale tail. So colorless and boring. I, on the other hand, look like a king. Yes, that may be so. But can your lovely feathers help you to fly? Like I can? High in the sky. Amongst the clouds and the stars. High enough to see the beauty of the earth. I think not. You just stay here, close to the ground. Like an ordinary cock. The peacock had nothing to say to the crane. He no longer felt as proud of his feathers as he used to and he realized that there was more to life than just looking beautiful. That's a great story, Tia, and I realize I must go apologize to someone. I thought you might feel that way after hearing the story. Well, please excuse me for a moment.
tofu 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 what are you doing here your friends and i were waiting for you at the library i thought you promised to go with us and help our librarian miss peters today oh dear there are so many of you i'm sure you can manage without me but tofu you promised why are you so angry dear it's just the library yes but you promised us how can you be so careless tofu if you behave like this one day you will have no friends left what do you mean haven't you heard of the bear and the two friends no okay let me tell you their story Once upon a time two friends had to travel through the forest It was a dangerous forest with many wild animals There were lions bears snakes and even poisonous spiders in the forest as the two friends entered the forest they were gripped with fear of what lay ahead i am so scared i wish we didn't have to go through this forest i agree with you But we have no choice. We must cross the forest to get to the other village. But what if we get into trouble? Let's promise that if any of us get into trouble, the other will not run away. He will stay and help the one who is in trouble. Yes, I promise you, my friend. I won't leave you alone if you are in trouble. And I promise you the same my friend. I am feeling less scared now. I think now I can easily cross the jungle. I'm glad. Let's go. After some time of walking through the forest, The two friends heard a rustling sound from the bushes ahead of them. They stopped in their tracks. Oh, what do you think it is? Shh. I don't know. I can't see clearly. Can you? Just then, a large dark figure appeared ahead of them. Oh no. It's a wild bear. It hasn't seen us yet. Run! Saying so, the boy climbed up a tall tree and sat on one of its branches. But his friend didn't know how to climb a tree. My friend, I don't know how to climb a tree. Please help me climb it. But the boy on the tree did not help him. He shook his head and held closely to the tree. The boy on the ground saw the bear approaching him and quickly lay down on the spot. He had heard that bears do not attack dead things, so he closed his eyes, held his breath and lay very still. The bear came close to him. It came close to his head and sniffed and smelled his ear 
to see if the boy was breathing, but the boy held his breath. Thinking that he was dead, the bear left the boy and moved on. After the bear had left, the boy from the tree came down. Are you all right? Y yes, I am. That was a close call. True, it was. Tell me, my friend, I saw the bear come close to your ear and whisper something. What did it say to you? It told me to be wary of a false friend and not keep such company. Which of the two friends do you think are behaving like Tofu? Like the one who broke his promise and climbed the tree. Hmm, what are you going to do about it? Uh, apologize to you and my friends and go to the library immediately to help. Okay, shall we go then? For your favorite rhymes, stories and more, join Kids Heart family. Subscribe here.